Welcome today, my name is Adiv, also known as XYZ. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, I'll um, look at my other videos. Um, so today, we're gonna, um, for, for the people who've been watching this all the time, all my videos, um, today we're gonna go back to tutorials, also known as training sessions. So we're gonna be doing our second last one, which is navigation. Follow a flight plan from point A to point B. So yeah, this is gonna be the one. And before we get started with the whole flying and everything, tutorial, whatever you call it, um, we've just hit 100 subscribers, so uh, thank you for guys for the support. And yeah, we're gonna get straight into it. Um, please hit the subscribe and hit the like button. Let's get at least 20 uh, by 100 likes on this video, and I want to get 10 subscribers. From this. So yeah, if you guys would do that, that would be awesome. And we're gonna get straight in. So. Flying is the best way to get to point A to point B. If you know how to navigate in this training session, it is all about basics of VFR navigation. Maintain a heading and calculate flight time to follow a planned route. Track aircraft location and flight progress visually VIA, via or identify. <laughs> you know, we'll just get straight. So this is 24 minutes, might be a little shorter. Um, so this is our runway. It's from Sedona, Sedona, or Sedona, Arizona, to Flagstaff, Pulliam, Flagstaff. Okay. And weather is going to be perfect. It's not nighttime or anything. And obviously, we're still using the same uh, plane as always. It's been a long, it's like, I don't know what we're doing. Like, landing challenges and the whole Boeing 747. It's like training, or the tutorials and trainings. They were just off my mind. It was all about, like, landing challenges and everything. It's, it's like, been a long time since I've done a, another t tutorial, so gonna be great to see it again <laughs> okay so this is actually the first tutorial that is really long 24 minutes the other ones are like nine minutes always but or like seven okay so this is Sedona Arizona. I've always said flying is free open skies endless possibilities but to fully enjoy it you need to be prepared Prepared. We're going to focus this lesson on navigation prep and procedures, the fundamentals of getting from point A to point B. Step one, putting some distance between us and the ground. Okay, so we have this nav log. We'll, we'll see about that. It says Munns Park and Flagstaff, which, if I remember, was our landing area. Okay, let's get straight. Uh, dang, it's been a long time since I've used this airplane. Okay, parking brake. Throttle. Okay. Let's get ready for the takeoff. And it's been a long time to hear the lady's voice again. Okay. Let's get ready for takeoff. What's our speed? Okay. Let's get up. Okay. We are in the air. I'm still focusing on what this is. It's called a nav log. It has a stopwatch, time, whatever these are, distance from Sedona to Black. Okay, we'll see about that. Okay. All right, we're off. Now keep climbing around the airport till we reach 5,800 feet. Okay, so it says stay around the airport till we reach 5,800? Yeah, 5,800. Okay, so what is our altitude? It's at 500, 5,200. We're, we keep going up. Okay, 5,300. We're looking at the big one here. 5,000. Let's keep going up. Is it 100? Okay, it's 100. Just making sure. Okay, 5,400. Keep going up. And then. Okay. So I'm going to make the turn here because I don't want to go too far ahead. Because she said climb around the airport, so she said stays around the airport. Okay. We're about to reach 5,500. Let's get a good look outside. It's very beautiful outside. It's been a long time since we've been in Sedona. Okay, let's go back. I will go in a third, third person view in a moment. But... Okay, 5,700. It goes without saying, 5, but good navigation starts with good departure prep. 
let's set up the aircraft for the first leg of your trip. Attitude, check. Now for your heading. When you need to set and maintain a heading, you'll want to rely on your heading indicator. Compasses are prone to errors, especially during turns or while accelerating or decelerating. Go right. ahead and position your plane above the airport. Above the airport. So where's the airport? Okay, still over there. Okay, so let's go make a turn for that. Yeah, she says position the aircraft above or the center of the airport. Okay. It says departure position right over here. I don't know why we're like. Okay. So it shows us right over here. I'll pull back here. Okay. So departure position. I do not. I don't know exactly why we're doing this, but let's see what happens. We still don't know most of the controls on this, so maybe they'll fill it up in this tutorial in the next. I don't know. Probably not. Okay, we're almost there. I'm just taking the time to enjoy the view. And yes, I am using an Xbox controller. I'm not technically using the keyboard right now. Oh, one last bit of departure prep. We need to validate the time. That's a fancy way of saying start the clock. Yes, we have the stopwatch for you. We also have this. Okay. Start. On the nav log, you can see our next waypoint, Munns Park. Is it a 41 degree right heading here. about five minutes away? Okay, so navigating it is basically flying a given heading for a given amount of time. Sometimes you deviate, but if you track the time flown from your last known position, you'll always have at least a range for your current position. Okay, so Munns Park over here says 45. I don't know where it says five minutes. This kind of looks like five minutes. We all know speed can increase or decrease depending on the wind. That's why at your next waypoint, you'll want to compare your estimated time and route with the actual time flown. Validate your estimate and your progress. Okay, so wind is also a thing here. You can't know that. It was also in the landing challenges. Wind is also a thing. But we didn't exactly know completely what it was and how you Okay, we're a long way. <laughs> and that's why it's 24 minutes. And there's obviously not a booster on this plane. So this is gonna take a while. I wonder what the VFR map is. Well, I've definitely used it, but... Okay, so let's see. It doesn't tell me where Munn's Park is. We're just gonna go back to our plane. And what is Iceland? Iceland. Oh, it's more detailed. Okay. Ooh, we can see another part of this area. It's a whole city down here. Munn's Park. Okay, we're almost Good. there. You made it to Munn's Park. According to the nav log, we've got one more stop. Flagstaff Pulliam Airport. Okay, I'm gonna get a little down. An easier way to navigate is to follow identifiable landmarks like okay. highways. And just so happens we have one below us. Hey, so where am I supposed to go? Follow the highway. Okay, I'm gonna go in third view for this. I'll go back and move. Oh, I love this nav log. Not letting me see. Airspeed is at 85. Okay. So I just wanted to see outside. Though. I have high hopes that that's the highway. Or I'm either just blind. But I think that's the highway. That's definitely the highway. I wonder where did that. That's definitely a highway. I can't. I, I think I do, but I also don't. Okay, I'm gonna make the left here, go straight for the highway, and then we're gonna... Okay, that's definitely the highway. Okay, we're at a cruise altitude. I really can't tell. 
Okay. Well, if it's not an highway, then... Okay, that's definitely highway. So I guess we're supposed to follow the highway? Wait, what? Okay, that's a highway. Oh, long, wrong way, sorry. So let's just follow the highway. So it goes here, to here, and then probably goes to the airport. Oh, I can see a car from here. As you close in on Flagstaff Pulliam Airspace, okay, the next there. step is setting up to enter the traffic pattern. What is the... Yeah, okay, good. We've got clearance to enter the downwind leg and land on runway 21. Keep your attitude, then it's follow really... the standard pattern. Okay. okay. So, enter downwind left. Turn. Or turn. Okay. okay. So, let's make the turn over here. Let's complete this training session. Okay. So, I'm going to reduce my throttle. Because it's not far away. Let's maintain. Actually, I'm going to pull it back up. I hope we don't bounce. Because that is what we did last time. Okay. So here's my altitude. Finally, a landing on runway 21, and we'll call this one done. My heart is being so fast, and I feel like what's going to happen is that I'm going to crash. And I can't afford that. Because this will be a long video then. Because... Okay, we're almost there. Please make this. I have a little experience, so... Okay, let's turn on flaps. Because obviously we need flaps for landing. Okay. Please pray for me. Because I'm gonna make this. Okay, this is my engine. Zero. Okay, now we're in the glide slope. I should just keep my mouth shut. Perfect. Smooth. Okay. Let's hold the brake. Let's steer into. I think we might need a taxi. All right. Successful VFR flight in the books. Not bad. Not bad at all. Is that it? No taxiing? Okay, that was it. Okay. I was really scared there for the landing. Okay, so what we learned. Take off runway 21. Departure preparations. Navigate to the next waypoint. Landmark. Okay. You guys can just pause the video. Let's take a look at this. So yeah, that was our second to last tutorial. So next video, we're going to be doing the last tutorial and then I'll be done and I don't have to do it again. So yeah, um, I'll see you next time when we do our next tutorial and please subscribe and hit the like button on this video.